excited about life. Why so excited, you ask? Let me explain. I made a decision to not fuss, fight, argue, or complain. Let's see how long that will last. What did you say? Yeah, I heard what you said, but why are you aghast? You see, I have experienced a number of setbacks in my life, and it's nothing different. It's all the same. But resilience is my middle name. So, good afternoon, ladies. Yeah. It is my pleasure to be here with you on today. I am Lisa House. I'm excited about this opportunity to present to you at the Women Who Lead Conference, or Win Women Lead Conference. I want to thank Dr. Meadows for this opportunity. Uh, he's been incredible this whole time, getting us all prepped and ready for this day. I want to thank each of the ladies who has presented before me. Uh, because we all stand on each other's shoulders and lifting each other up in, in our daily lives as well as in our professional lives. And so what I want to share with you is this topic of not a setback for a woman who bounces back. You see, we all have experienced some type of setback in our lives. So just by a show of hands, how many of you have experienced a setback? Okay, just about every hand went up. How many of you are going through a setback right now as we speak? Okay, a few hands go up. Okay, and so whether you have or have not, if you are looking to take your life to the next level, if you're interested in succeeding at high levels of success, then trust and believe that a setback is a part of the process. It's something that we cannot avoid, we can't get away from it, it's going to happen. The key is recognizing it when it happens, and choosing your response. And so that's what the most important thing about today's presentation is, how do you respond when a setback occurs? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you my story uh, and how that, um, I'm gonna share with you my story and then we're gonna take an opportunity to go dive in and dissect and analyze what was a setback and then how I responded to it. And then afterwards, you notice that there was uh, a handout that you were all given, because see, this isn't just about Lisa. This is about you being able to get something out of this session for yourself. And so we're gonna do an interactive exercise. Everybody up for exercise? Mm -hmm. All right, fantastic. So let's get into it. Now, they say the distance between two points, or the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. But that's not true. You see, just like with anything, there are no straight lines, especially when it comes to your journey to success. So, if you look at the image that's on the left-hand side, I actually found that clip, someone sent it to me. It's more than 20 years old. I was working at Arthur Anderson as a staff auditor right out of uh, college, the University of Michigan, and I had just gotten promoted to senior. So I made it in the newspaper, like at that early age of my life. Fast forward 20 years to a year ago, this time, Davenport University taps Lisa House to lead Davenport University's Metro Detroit campuses. So that was in the Detroit Cranes business. So some people on the outside looking in says, wow, you know, 20 years ago she was just a staff accountant and now she's leading the university. But what you don't see are all the phases that happened in between the setbacks, the disappointments, the failures, the feeling like I can't do it, the people who encourage me and saying that you can. So all of those things are important to recognize uh, when they actually are occurring. So first of all, let's get ready, set, and define what a setback is. You see, a setback is an event that delays your progress or reverses some of the progress you have made. And that comes from the Collins Dictionary. Now, here are some common places setbacks occur. Work or career, how many of you have one there? Okay. School, failed that exam, yeah. <laughs> happens to the best of us. In business, you lose a customer, you lose a client. Relationship, girl, he ain't called you since. <laughs> Might be a good thing, right? <laughs> Move on to the next. Finances, home foreclosure, taxes, you're on 
tax bill comes, says you owe all this money that you didn't expect, right? Um, or you lose a job. Your entire livelihood is at stake. So your finances are in jeopardy. I said that. Life events. And we'll go into that. So the ones in particular that I'm going to share are have to deal with my career, life event, and then politics. You see, some of the things I kept out of the short bio because Lee said we can only submit a paragraph. So I took three short paragraphs and put it into one so Sherry wouldn't be up here reading forever, right? But um, as I began to share my story, some of those facts, many of those facts will begin to reveal themselves to you, okay? So let's start with my 